Hello beautiful people, how are you? This is a bit of a show and tell today. Um, somebody messaged me and asked me what my medicine bundles are like or my healing bundles. So, I have the trinket pot out and I found this lovely felt pot when I was in Devon recently and I thought that is so earthy and wonderful I'm gonna have that and I do wrap it up in a cloth as well and this is what I take away with me now when I go traveling and I might take well I will take a pet a set of tarot cards as well Oops, that's come out of it so essentially this is gonna be a show and be a show we can grab Let's see, what have we got in here? Let's use this Oem. And this particular symbol is for a birch tree. So let's just imagine a beautiful white or silver birch. And just imagine casting your eyes down the trunk. And then turn yourself around and imagine sitting within its feet this beautiful birch and this is an Irish Oem symbol like I just said but did you know that the Chinese believe that trees have a sex and they believe the birch tree is feminine maybe because they're quite dainty looking and filigree And they actually don't really need another birch to reproduce. They just send a runner along and it sprouts up. So just start to relax yourself. We'll also imagine a candle flame at the center of your being and you can glow and grow that flame outwards outwards to both sides to the front and the back to the top and the bottom until that fire completely pushes out anything that does not belong to you so really I'm going to be just pulling stuff out and showing you so we have the chakra stones here Beautiful Apache's Tear, Emerald, Tiger's Eye, that is a Cherry Quartz, Carnelian, Turquoise and of course Lapis, a little mini set of Chakra Stones. And here are my Standing Stones and I use these as like a crystal point. This is an aura quartz. They have a they have a flat base and they have their points and these are made from a granite. This is the blue stone, the same stone as the Stonehenge in a ring. And I put them in this bag because they double up as a rattle as well. We can shake energy off. So they have a dual purpose. First of all, I will shake the energy off. Then I will open it and I will use it to direct energy into these chakra stones. And this particular blue stone is rather special because, let me show you, there are nine of them, even though we only have seven chakras. I don't know if you can see that, maybe not so much on that, but the blue stone has quartz in it, so it's very silky. Let me get a knife and show you on the knife. There, yeah, you can see that better. Can you see the granite? 
has quartz in it so the ancients brought the stars down to earth so those are my little mini standing stones with the energy cut from the same quarry of the Stonehenge stones I'm a big fan of this Priscilla Blue Stelly Blue water pendant as well as a couple of knives in these stones and it is so strong that I had a serious headache. I wore the pendant for four hours and I had to take it off. So here are two pendulums. This is one my daughter gave me, a lovely little quartz one. And this is an heirloom from my maternal grandmother, my Italian grandmother, who was married to a priest. And she called this her clonker. It is a Victorian locket, glass locket, not crystal, I believe. Works perfectly as a pendulum. Okay, we have a very smooth olive wood cross and these are all kept in bags so that they're protected. It's so smooth and these are often given to people who are very ill or dying because they, they sort of fiddle around with it. This is a small one, you can get bigger ones as well. And in fact, one of these was given to my mother and we put it in her coffin with her. She held on to it so tightly that I didn't want to take it off her in death. So it is now in the ground, in the ashes with her. And it's a beautiful smooth wood, olive wood from the Holy Land, from Israel. Okay. This is, I believe, Native American turquoise and it is used for painting, so this is always protected. And it's, it's very powdery. Isn't it beautiful? I'm amazed it is still in one piece, actually. <laughs> There are so many trinkets in here, this is going to be a long video. So this is a little gift given to me by my daughter, an angel coin. Guardian angel, protect us all, giving strength when we might fall, watching, guiding, lighting the way through the night and every day. So if someone were to pick that out of the trinkets, that's what we would say, connect with your angel. These are from a set of painted stones. I have earth, air, fire and water. This one is acacia or spirit, but I use this as a pagan wheel. So at the time of recording, we are in between, we are in that pie section there. We are in between the equinox and Halloween or Samhain. So I would use it as a wheel. Maybe I would say, choose a section to the client or I'd intuitively choose one for them and we might use it as a timeline. Let's see, let me ruffle something around. Okay, I've got a few here. Not sure of the stone, but it was told to me it was a green man stone. So that is my representation of the green man. And here we have a holy stone, so we can cleanse energy with this. It used to be on a pendant, but the holy stones were often strung around a baby's cot so that the fae didn't take off their baby and put a changeling there. But they were also used 
for sight, if you were hard of sight, you see you can look through that and you can focus a bit better. So there's another use for them, hagstones they are called often. And then here we have a sodalite heart. Sodalite helps you work through confusion. Mental stone. Rose quartz cylinder. I would put that next to a chakra stone to calm it down. Let's see. Let's grab another handful. Okay. Malachite and chrysolica, I think, but to me, this represents Sobek, the crocodile god from Egypt. Here we have the pair to the sodalite heart, we have rhodonite. So they came as a pair. One for me, one for my partner, but he's not interested, so I now use them for other people. Now, my friend bought this back for me on a keyring from Argentina, so my only artifact, I think, from South America. Protective black tourmaline. Here I have a bone from something, because this is essentially a bone set, but I'm not sure what it came from, but it is from in an English animal. I got that off an old druid as well. Ooh. Now here I have a jade dragon. I don't think you can see it very well, but there are there is a dragon carved on this. So that has the dragon energy. Uh, Azurite and Malachite. This was gifted to me by my first Reiki master when I did the Egyptian Sacum. It is an extremely healing stone. And I would put my hand out, ask for the angels to put one in my hand, an etheric one, and I would place it on the heart before I pulled up the aura to work underneath. And when I graduated, she gave each of us a real live one. So that is big emotional healing. Can't remember what this is called, but it helps with epilepsy. And that is what I have. I think there is a pair of those as well. It looks like a brain, doesn't it? So that's maybe why it fits for epilepsy. I might even use it for Parkinson's. I don't know why, that's just come to me intuitively. And we have a little flower gel sort of stone. So if we pulled that out, then I would intuitively start working with flower healing for the client. This is a soothing and a calming stone, stone white, uh, white quartz. This is one of the Dantian stones. You've heard me talk about Dantians. It's a different system to chakras. This would be the yin tang point, the third eye stone. Here we go, here we have the other one for that epilepsy stone. And then we have a lapis arrow to direct energy in where it is needed. We have a grounding stone of obsidian. I call this a Cupid's arrow, little pendant of rose quartz with gold around it. I can direct energy with this as well, if I need to, as well as it being 
a marker for love or relationships. And here we have the angel quartz. These are these new age stones. Aren't they beautiful? I just love the sheen. I'm not exactly sure what they do. I have to look in the book. And we have one of the archangels in here. This one is Michael. So I have six mighty archangels in here and this would be a protection. My Michael serves on the first ray. Here we have a lower Dantian stone and this is Madagascan Agate. And we can also walk through that doorway so it can be a doorway stone as well. Gorgeous colour, isn't it? The Tree of Life. I think of this as the Duya, as the oak tree, but I mainly think of it as a tree of life in whatever culture. So the world tree, the inner world tree you've heard me talking about. Ah, now this is a chip that fell off one of my fossils. This is part of a sperm whale's inner ear. So this brings whale energy in and calmness. Here we also have the spiral of a shell, telling you to start working with spiral and seashell energy. And this is the third of the set of Dantian stones. This is a rose quartz, it's got a really smooth side and this was given to me by a fairy, so a lady dressed up as a fairy, I think she was a druid at Jack in the Green Beltane Festival. So those are the Dantians, the lower Dantian, the middle Dantian and the upper Dantian. So I use those like chakra stones or individually. And then we have this little pottery figurine of the goddess telling you to connect with the divine feminine. Let's have another rummage. Okay, another one of those rose quartz cylinders. A piece of abalone for cleansing. Clear quartz for amplifying energies. Azestulite. Now, if I pull that out, that is gonna. T I'm gonna tell you to meditate and connect with yourself more. And some star coral that was washed up on a beach in Bermuda that my mother picked up. So that is telling you to work in a community but it is also an indication of competition so star coral and here we have a Greenpeace symbol that came out of my deceased fiance's possessions and if I pulled that out for someone I would say go and do some volunteering go and do some work for the planet in some way, do a beach clean, take a trash bag with you, collect rubbish, garbage wherever you walk, something like that, or start working ecologically, volunteering. Okay, another rummage, another rummage, what have we got here? Okay, we have a piece of bird bone splintering off. I think that's from a wing. It's actually, it might be fish. Can't remember. Actually, I think it's fish bone. Yeah, I found that on the beach. So that must be, it's either fish or bird, but another, another bone. 
Here we have the Oracle of Delphi. Know thyself. So that would be her symbol and the symbol that is somewhere at Delphi. So the God of Apollo and Oracle work. Now this is a contentious piece. This is a chip off a pyramid. There are loads of them around where the workmen are working and she, I said, you could have got into trouble. This is the, I asked her to bring me some sand back and she didn't, she bought me a chip. She said, well, there were so many of them around and they were just lying around. And this is from the Saqqara pyramid. Um, which was the first ever pyramid. And when we have meditated and held this, we kind of elongate. It feels like our skulls are elongating. I've only worked with it really with a friend of mine, who Chris, who is now dead. And when I put it under the pillow, when I did a healing on him, he was taken back to an Egyptian past life. But I haven't worked with it too much actually. Here we have an eye of Shiva, a protective eye of Shiva that is collected from one of the rivers in India. It's some kind of a gate. But they are protective eyes on the lookout. A piece of Sussex tumbled flint. I put one of these above the chakra line and one below and they align you. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going today. I have a bit of a cold. Here we have Seraphonite, which is more angelic connections. <coughs> a ladybug. So more ecology work, but bringing ladybug energy in. <laughs> Connecting with Insects, perhaps? Predators, those are predators. You can add those into your greenhouse to eat the aphids that attack your plants. So, yeah, I'd say go out and get, go and get it. Go and get, if that was pulled out. Piece of calming fluorite. Strengthens tendons and bones. Head and tails coin. I do have a, a cup that we can spin the coin in. And we have a yes and a no rune. So this is gifu or gibu, meaning gift. And we, we still use that today, don't we? We say kiss, kiss at the end of letters and text. And isa, no, stop, wait. This is ice. Okay, what have we got here? Ah, we have a little fluorite Buddha's head. Connecting with Buddha energy. One of the other archangels. So the archangels I use are Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, this one is I think, Sandalphon and Metatron. Unicorn energy. I went to a unicorn workshop and this was gifted to me. So that signifies a selenite, the unicorn energy, the innocence of them. And we have a hawthorn berry, huith, which is another oem. It is an action oem. used heavily in witchcraft as well, the witch's tree, the mayflower. And I would say that that lights a fire in the mind like hazel. Here we go, one of the other archangels. Fly Agaric. Not the real Fly Agaric, but a representation of it. So, meditate, fly over the hedge like the witches do. 
and I am not condoning that you take it because you have to be so careful with mushrooms. I do have some dried, but I've never had the guts. Oceanic Jasper, which I think is probably a kind of coral that has been fossilized and mineralized. Kind of looks like it could be a different version of that, doesn't it? So bringing the sea energy, but grounding of the land. So I think of these as the edges, at the shore edge. And here we have a piece of some kind of glass. And this is from my grandmother's grave. So this is signifying to connect with your ancestors. Another rummage, another archangel, very high piece of high, whoops, high grade piece of aquamarine. So this would be causal chakra or throat chakra, and this is actually my birthstone because I'm a March baby. Another archangel. So this is part of a berry of the spindle tree, which is another oam tree. And this would have beautiful pink heart-shaped berries, pinky orange, really shining out about now actually in the hedgerows. And they would have made bobbins out of this. So the lace bobbins that you see them crisscrossing when they make lace. So to me, this would signify all of the women working together and laughing and gossiping and talking, but also doing things. So working, but joyful working. And this is part of a set of balancing stones. I could actually use that for cleansing someone as well. Um, these are river stones. These have come out of the river dart and I collected those at that when I did those meditations by the river. So again, people can hold them and have the yin and the yang or we can put them above and below people. There's the other piece of flint. And this this is a piece of fossilized tree. Let's show you that. So that's a piece of fossilized wood. So again, grounding. Okay, I'll pop, okay, I'll pop that back away, right. Still quite a bit left, but okay, this is calcite. Now I use this to, it could be a Viking stone, a sun stone, but I kind of use it to amplify a choke array behind it. So that would be the symbol by itself that somehow amplifies it. Okay. Scallop. This is a bead from the British Museum. I do have a scarab beetle actually from Egypt. Many Egyptian artifacts. I'm, these are my spirit helpers. I use these in a lot of treatments. I have tried to get rid of them in dreams. I give them to people and then make a quick exit because I'm not a bug person. And then in dreams, they run up the road saying, you forgot this. So I can't get rid of them. I can't lose them. Other mediums have seen me and felt me working with them. They literally roll up the spiritual dung around chakras. And I have a monk 
who helps me do healing in the spiritual world and he keeps it up his sleeve, funnily enough, I was told by a medium. Ooh, what else have we got here? I put them down, didn't I? Another heart. My grandmother's black cat. This is made out of jet, but this to me is Bast. Egyptian goddess Bast. Moldavite, so connection to the ET worlds. I do work with ETs, but I don't do meditations on YouTube with them because I know they are a contentious issue. Many people have had bad experiences. I've only had good experiences with them. Very tiny stone with a hole in. Another love heart. This one is from Holland. And this was from my mother's jewellery box. We used that. Lord Ganesh, little carving of the Hindu elephant god. So a remover of obstacles. Fertility symbol and a music symbol, Cocobelli. I play Native American flutes. So this was gifted to me by a friend. So he has made his way into here for fertility. Spiral. This is actually one of those ear things that you stretch the earlobes with. This belonged to my fiance, who's now passed over, and this signifies that change happens. We have to move through it. We can't keep everything the same always. Evolving, and the eternal spiral of life. Ooh, Larimar. So this is a connection to Atlantis, working at the throat and the third eye and the upper chakras. Here we have a piece of pumice from an ancient Greek ruin. Uh, sorry, and not a Greek, Roman ruins in England. <laughs> And then we have my Roman and Greek coins. So these are documented as well. Very ancient, sort of two to five thousand years. I have a piece of amethyst in there to keep them cleansed. So this is an ancient Greek coin, it would have been copper or steel, it's very heavy, very thick. You can just about make out a Pegasus on one side and Zeus on the other, very worn. Then we have an ancient Greek coin. And I can't remember what goddess that is, I'll have to look it up. And one of the emperors. Uh, the Caesars on that. Okay. I wouldn't really pull those out in a reading. They're just in there. They were just for me with my music as I play the Greek lyre to connect. I play Greek and Roman music. Here we go. Another, another Hawthorn berry. A bone horse, so this stands for moving forward, moving on with your life. Copper, to transmit and also a blood cleanser. I have no idea why that's an intuition thing. A pearl of wisdom, forgiveness or love. More Larima to direct energy. The hair, the witch's symbol, sign of a witch, the hair. Women are meant to turn into hairs. And it is a symbol of being able to do a couple of things at once. And this is called a turkey wing shell. And this is 
a shell that had come from the Pacific Ocean from Bermuda where I am from and we would make a chowder out of this so this is for sustenance here we have the giant the long man of Wilmington where my druid grove meets and the, the rune on the back is ing I don't think you can see it meaning community so connect with your community but also you can walk through these divining rods into a portal so there's where my druid grove meets this is a hillside chalk figure it's a huge white figure and he looks out across the valley over the fertile land little wooden love trinket we've got lots of hearts in here that is a protective chip of a smoky quartz wand that fell off and we have hematite a hematite arrow for grounding and this is just a calming and grounding stone obsidian so that's just there there we go more balanced stones should you need them shiva lingam for fertility god shiva is with us and now we're nearly at the end another pearl of wisdom another archangel This oem is left blank, so we can choose the tree you wish to work with, if it is not an oem. And here we have a limpid I found on the beach. Now, let's say an, a chakra or a dantian needs cleaning. I can literally siphon, suck energy off it with that. So I hold the, hold the stone and I literally siphon any negative energy off it like that. So a cleansing shell. Oh, only three things left, right. Oh, four things. Tiny piece of watermelon tauramelene, so big heart healing there. Lemurian, I can't think what it's called, Lemurian Quartz? No, it was a Lemurian stone given to me by someone. So connection back, My, I can't remember if it was Obsidian or Quartz or something, but it's a Lemuria, connection to Lemuria and Pacific Ocean. A little brooch of mine when I was a kidlet, so baby, maybe, maybe if that was pulled out. I haven't pulled it out for anyone yet, but that might be a baby coming. Or it could be the birth of new ideas even. And here we have a cleansing so now I cut cords with this I can sort of you can maybe feel that dot working to cut some cords this is a rutilated moonstone you see the shine on that and that little tauramaline dot would be to cleanse with now I would also put a couple of other things in here if I was traveling I would have a donut in there. I don't keep them in there because I use them a fair bit in working. I need to find them quick. But that is another way to cleanse energy. This is was given to me when I did the Moon IQ rites, the Peruvian rites. And we actually run that around the body cleansing. Another angel stone gifted to me when I took my angelic Reiki. And then I would have, where are they, they're hidden, I would have a couple of wands, I might even just use one wand if I have a double terminated one, but that is an angel quartz from out of Brazil, 
And my darling friend Krishna, who died, has the pair to that. I got it off him. We actually even argued over the <laughs> Friendly, of course. And a smoky quartz. So I would take those as well. So that is a modern shaman's healing basket. So you might have found some ideas for you to put in your own basket there. And... I will love you and leave you now. Bye-bye.